Hello everybody. My name is Sami Petricola. I've been working as a research assistant in HiGIT. Today, I am happy to present our work, a novel indicator to assess the criticality of road segments in accessing health facilities, especially during a flood disaster. Our work comes as an answer to the original question that we have taken. Could a network analysis provide relevant information to support preparedness and mitigation plans for flood disaster? And more precisely, are we able to identify critical roads and main backup roads to reach health facilities? We have been working on the case of Mozambique during the floods induced by the cyclone Ida in 2019. We will focus on one of the most affected regions, represented by a red square on the map. So, first of all, we model the road network as it is usually done in graph theory, using a representation of nodes and edges and providing a weight to each edge. The edge represents the roads, and the weight is calculated according to the highway tags and speed limits of the road segment. For the purpose of the example, I added a health facility in the network. Different indicators, called centrality indicators, exist to rank the nodes or edges of the network. One of them is the Betune centrality and provides an interesting measure of road segments, but we had to adapt it to match our needs. Basically, we calculate shortest path between every pair of nodes of the network. The betweenness centrality for each edge counts the number of shortest paths that pass through the edge. So having a look at our little example, we see that it measures well the importance of a road segment in the network, but does not take into account specific usage such as reaching the health facility. So we modify the indicator calculation. Instead of calculating the shortest path between all nodes of the network, we define it targeted points. We calculated the shortest path departing from all the nodes of the network, but with the health facility as only destination points. Here we can see a much more representative measurement, as the main segment are the one leading to the health facility. Now, let's represent the populated places in blue. We see that the distribution of populated places is not necessarily well represented by the distribution of nodes. This discrepancy will affect our result, so we made it modified it further. This time, instead of taking all the nodes of the network as departure points, we are taking the populated places. We observe that the road segments that are leading to populated places are taking more importance and road segments not leading to any populated places are not retrieved anymore. And that's our centrality indicator. Now, let's have a look at a concrete example with our case study. Here is the result. We clearly see how the network is based on a few major roads reaching the health facility. This was done in normal situation, but we can now replicate the analysis considering a flooded situation. We alter the network with the floods, and we see how a cutoff of some roads modifies the centrality of all of the segments. So, by comparing the scores in both situations, we get our criticality indicator. When the score decreases in orange, we can interpret it as criticality of a road, as it is not able to provide the access under floods. On the contrary, the score increase in purple can be interpreted as an important backup road, with the loss of some of the main roads, other non-flooded roads are able to provide access to health facilities, and thus are characterized as backup roads. Let's get back to our case study. And if we zoom uh, to a smaller area, first, we can see on the map on the left the, the correlation between the localization of populated places and the main roads. Secondly, with the map on the right, we observe uh, how the cutoff of critical roads in orange lead to the use of main backup roads in purple. To wrap up, here is a summarized workflow. We used the humanitarian data exchange to get satellite images of the floods extent from the World Food Program and UNOSAT. The data from OpenStreetMap was accessed by Geofabric, and then we used Open Road Service and Osmosis to model the road network. Finally, all of the centrality and criticality indicators were calculated in R. 
This work is part of a wider analysis to evaluate the impact of flood disaster on the population to access healthcare. All the scripts are available on GitHub. Thank you very much for your time, and if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to contact me directly.